Galaxy Note 9. Thank you. Now, to tell you more about the world's most advanced smartphone, please welcome Drew Blackheart. Thanks, CJ. I'm so excited to be here at Barclay Center to introduce the Galaxy Note 9. Galaxy Note has always been a smartphone for people who want the best of the best. And this year, we've updated it for a new generation. Generation of creators, achievers, and entrepreneurs who are remaking the world and relying on technology to do it. Recently, we spoke with Note users all over the world about what they want for their phones. And one thing became crystal clear. Note users expect more. And at Samsung, we've always tried not just to meet expectations, but to exceed them. Now, we already use our phones for so much, but what if they were even more powerful? What if our batteries actually lasted all day and we didn't have to worry about how much storage we had? What if we could stream and download the things we want when we want them? What if our phones met our highest expectations instead of forcing us to work around their shortcomings? Since the beginning, the Note series has always been at the cutting edge of new technology. And today, we're redefining expectations all over again with the most powerful phone we've ever made, the Galaxy Note 9. You know, back when we launched the first Note, a 5.3-inch display sounded huge. Today, it actually sounds small but it paved the way for the big screen smartphone category. And Note users were the first to see the incredible potential of a large screen. For people who pack a ton into every moment, Note lets you do more. That screen's 6.4 inches, the largest ever on a Note. And of course, Note 9 features an end-to-end -end display, which means you get a larger canvas for writing with your S Pen or watching YouTube video. In fact, YouTube recently named the Note 9 a signature device because it delivers a best-in-class YouTube experience. We've refined the design with a beautiful balance, razor-straight lines, and elegant curves, using a specialized diamond-cutting technique to give the frame a clean, modern look. On the back of the device, we centered the fingerprint scanner below the camera so that it's easier to reach. And now, all of these features blend seamlessly into the design of the phone. When it comes to color, this year we went big and bold. You can choose from four cool new colors. Ocean blue with a yellow S pen, which is my favorite. Lavender purple, metallic copper, and midnight black each designed to reflect the forward-looking style that Note users are looking for. We also added a flash of color to one of Note users' favorite features, and one that I use all the time, screen-off memos. 
Now, no matter what color you choose, one thing remains the same. Note users rely on their phones to explore their passions and to get things done. So with Note 9, we didn't just design a super powerful phone. We designed a phone that can keep up with you. Now, we all know the feeling of panic when your phone gets below 5%. You're waiting for your ride, watching your battery drain away, just praying that the car comes before you're stranded. Well, you shouldn't have to plan your day around your phone's battery life. That's why we created an all-day battery, the largest ever on a note. No more worrying that your GPS will die right when you need it most. No more begging coworkers to borrow a charger. Instead, you can power through your entire day with just the phone in your pocket. That's right. The fact is, we need our phones to last all day. And we're storing more on them than ever before. So Note 9 starts at a minimum of 128 gigabytes. That's twice as much space as before. So you don't have to pick and choose which photos, videos, and apps you can live without. With that amount of storage, you could download close to 670 hours of movies and TV shows. That's enough to get you through 30 round-trip flights from New York to Madrid. And that's just to start with. You can also get a 512 gig version. That's the one that I want. Just like its predecessors, Note 9 also comes with expandable storage. And get this, soon, with Samsung's upcoming 512 gig micro SD card, you'll be able to get as much as one terabyte of memory. One terabyte. That's more than most laptops. But what good is all that storage if you're always waiting for things to load? We wanted to make sure Note users could maximize performance, even when running power-intensive apps. So we gave Note 9 a cutting-edge 10 nanometer processor. And it also supports super-fast network speeds, up to a staggering 1.2 gigabits per second, so you can stream smoother and download faster. But the ultimate test of all this power and speed is gaming. To get a truly great gaming experience on a smartphone, you need a device that packs a serious punch. But don't take it from me. Let's hear from someone who created one of the most popular games on the market today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the founder and CEO of Epic Games, Tim Sweeney. Well, thanks, Drew. It's great to be back at Unpacked. You know, the last time I was on Unpacked stage was for the launch of the Vulkan Graphics API back in 2016. It's crazy to think how much has changed at Epic Games since then, and we've been thrilled to be partners with, the, with Samsung for the entire time. You know, for starters, Epic Games launched our most successful game yet, Fortnite. <laughs> So today, there are over 125 million people around the world building bases, gathering weapons, and getting ready for the next storm. And uh, <laughs> judging by the tweets, um, just about every gamer wants to know the same thing. When is Fortnite coming to Android? So uh, about that, um, we're going to be launching the Fortnite beta on Android this week, and players with Samsung Galaxy devices are the first to be invited starting right now. Also, gamers who play Gal uh, Fortnite on a Note 9 or Tab S4 will also get access to a special skin, Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, what really excites us about this partnership is that Samsung makes the best performing Android devices in the world. And the Note 9 represents a real revolution for mobile gaming that brings a console quality, 100 player Fortnite experience to Android. Now, Epic Games has always been on the cutting edge of mobile gaming, and together with Samsung, we're ushering mobile gaming into a new era of high-end games for gamers. And we can't wait to see how players around the world enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Tim. We are really excited about this partnership. 
When game worlds are bigger, combat is faster, and a moment of lag could mean the difference between victory or defeat, performance is crucial. With a super fast processor, amazing graphics, a powerful battery, and more storage than ever, Note 9 delivers the kind of performance that gamers need. And when it comes to games, we know that people want to be able to see and hear every single detail. So Note 9 comes with AKG-tuned stereo speakers, the loudest ever on a Note. For serious gamers, speed is everything. When your processor heats up, your gameplay slows down. Well, Note 9 comes with our industry-leading water carbon cooling system and a smart performance adjuster algorithm. Really, that just means that everything's going to run smoothly, even in the most intense gaming sessions. With Note 9, whatever you're doing, your phone works for you, giving you the performance that you need. And nowhere is that more true than with Note's powerful, intelligent camera. Back in February, we reimagined what a camera could do with an incredible dual aperture smartphone camera. Because when it comes to capturing a great photo, there's almost nothing more important than light. Just like your eye, Note 9's camera adapts to your environment. If you're out at night, the aperture widens to let in more light. And if it's a bright, sunny day, the aperture contracts to let in less light. So you can get a great shot anytime, anywhere. And thanks to its super speed dual pixel image sensor, Note 9 comes with super slow-mo which lets you make everyday moments epic by slowing them down to a fraction of a second. So we started with one of the most powerful smartphone cameras in the world, and now we're building on that foundation with Note 9's brand new intelligent camera. Now, we all know when it comes to taking great pictures, some things are always going to be out of our control. Maybe your friend blinked, maybe you didn't see the smudge on the lens until it was too late. Seriously, there's nothing worse than asking someone to take a photo of you and your friends only to get your phone back and realize that the photo looks terrible. Well, now, whenever Note 9's camera detects a flaw, like closed eyes or image blur, it'll automatically notify you. So you can take another shot before the moment's gone. Note 9's camera also uses scene recognition to identify different subjects like flowers, food, and a variety of landscapes, and then based on the scene, it optimizes the color tones so that every shot you take is Instagram ready. Now, no matter how powerful your camera is, one thing it can't do is take a picture for you. My wife and I love to travel. In fact, we just got back from Mexico City a couple weeks ago. But there we go. Uh, no matter what we did and where we went, whenever we were taking a selfie, they all ended up looking pretty much the same, right? We tried to squeeze in, get in the same shot, but it was hard to not lose the scenery behind us. But what if you could take a better photo without all that hassle? Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. We're going to take an unpacked group shot. Make my way over to the camera. And, you know, this is just too cool of a moment. I don't think I want to take this one alone. I need to... Matt, you want to join me? All right, here we go. Let's get in here. All right. One, two, three. I need my good side. Let's try this side. All right. Ready? All right. One, two, three. Maybe our album cover? Oh, yeah. All right. There we go. All right. One, two, three. All right. Looking good. Let's see. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Well, you might have noticed that I took those photos.